The former head of Norlunga's emergency department has spoken out about fears lives will be put at risk if the hospital's emergency capacity is scaled back. But the current chief says he supports the government's plan to downgrade EDs at three suburban hospitals. Retired Dr Linton Stacey believes diverting emergency patients from Norlunga to Flinders will put lives at risk. And speaking out against the government's transforming health plan today, he said the larger hospital won't be able to cope with an extra 7,000 ambulance arrivals a year. Ramping is currently occurring at Flinders. Um, I can only see that uh, getting worse. But the current head of emergency says the plan will improve health care. We're going to increase flow throughout the whole system. The changes are really meant to give patients in the, in the south uh, the best treatment first time, every time. The plan has also been criticised because of the southern suburbs' growing population. I think any scale back as far as hospital is concerned is not a good thing because um, it's a long drive into Flinders, isn't it? I'm from Aldinga Beach, so... We need to have something closer than Flinders, and Flinders it takes forever to get in if, if you've got to go to ED as well. The Health Minister's response to the concerns is that there will always be 24-7 emergency care at Norlunga, but the most serious emergencies will be taken direct to Flinders, which already happens in many cases now. Consultation on the Transforming Health Plan runs until the end of the month. Its most controversial proposal, the closure of the Repatriation Hospital, also attracting fierce opposition. Lauren Barker, Nine News.